What's good YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM on Advice. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing alright. Can't complain. Today we're going to be reacting to the Xbox Series S and the Xbox X release date. Price reveal, the new Xbox Series as details and more. Alright, we're going to see what's up. Letting you know from now, all my Xbox lovers, alright, all my Xbox fans, you're watching this video right now. Kill yourself. All Xbox fans, kill yourself. Please, do that. PlayStation lovers, smash that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's see what these Xbox, you know what, Ori? You're a reactor, you have to have an open mind. Alright. Even though PlayStation is better, it is better. Get that out of your mind for now. For now. Go into the video with an open mind. Namaste. Alright, let's go. This has been revealed. Let's get into it. Oh, wait. I think I jumped it too far. Let me go back. The new low end Xbox, Xbox Series S, has been revealed. Let's nice. get into it. Look at the speaker. Alright, alright, alright. You're done judging it. You don't see nothing. You're judging it. You're judging it. Alright. I'm going to start this video pretty oddly uh, because in the middle of making this video, or rather after it was uh, done, there was uh, an article by Windows Central that caps up even more information that I've decided to She's include, so, awesome, so yeah. please forgive uh, the weird nature of this video. Long story short, this box uh, will retail for $2.99. I talk about the appearance of the... That's a pretty good price. I mean, I'm, I'm going that's a good price. That's a good price. That $5.99 was a little steep. You know what I mean? For PlayStation, I'm not even gonna lie, Sony. I don't think Sony released a price for the PlayStation 5 as yet. Let me know in the comment section. Box later in this video, but Series X's price has been pretty much revealed to be $4.99. Sounds familiar, right? And all of this has been revealed. Yes! Sony! PlayStation 5. It's for $5.99, $4.99 as well. That's kind of steep for both of y'all. That's kind of steep. $5.99 for a console? Thanks to their payment program. Basically, they've done the math. All of this stuff lines up. It is going to be the price. $2.99 for the low-end Xbox, $4.99 for the high-end Xbox, and they will both seemingly launch on November 10th. So again, I cover everything to do with Series S and more in this video. Why it is actually better than the Xbox One X in pretty much every way. If you want to know all that, it's all here. But the launch date, seemingly November 10th, according to WindowsCentral.com, the prices are pretty much being added up from their all-access program. This is, uh, yeah, this is all but on just one slide for Microsoft at this point. So again, thanks for rocking out with me. Check out the rest of the video. More information there. Uh, and I'll source that Windows Central article down below. Let's get into it. What is going on, guys? Dealer back again talking about the Xbox Series S. Yes, it has been leaked, and uh, I'm told by multiple different people this is legitimate. As a matter of fact, by the time you see this, Microsoft might actually have the official trailer out there, though I am giving you every bit of relevant information, including things that other people do not, you know, maybe they don't understand sort of tech stuff or uh, some of that stuff, right? So we're going to cover all of the good stuff here, guys. Hit the like button, hit the retweet, hit the share, subscribe for all of the latest and greatest, and let's get into Microsoft's newest next-generation console announcement. So this comes to us thanks to some kind of marketing trailer reveal leak. And as you see here, I do have a section of the trailer. Uh, somebody shared it with me on Twitter, and I thought it looked really, really interesting. So guys, this was leaked thanks to people on Twitter, I do believe. And I, I think, uh, shout out to Brad Sands, he had a video on it. I'm just now seeing this stuff. I have a bunch of DMs. Somebody sent me this little snippet of footage, and I have gone ahead and brought it to you guys through this video. Basically, if you're not familiar with the concept of Xbox Series S, well, think about your Xbox One S. It's the same thing. It's for the next generation. I've been talking about this thing for well over two years. It's, it's one of those things where, hey, this is, this is their plan. This is Phil Spencer's idea of, hey, we're not going to lose out on power, but we're also not going to lose out on price. And it's also why Sony has started using the term value with their system. They come in somewhere in between these two systems, or at least I believe that was their original plan. This does retail, or will retail, for around $300. $299, in fact, is something I've been talking about forever. And uh, it does show here on the actual marketing material, $299 as the price point for this entry model next generation system, $299. 
And you can expect a $200 gap between this and their high-end Xbox system, the Xbox Series X. Yes, it all sounds familiar because I've already said this stuff and I'm repeating myself for the 5 million time. But at the end of the day, that's, that's the price you pay for uh, kind of knowing your shit. So, again, um, if you did not know, and I'll explain it again. I know I've covered this a hundred times, but I gotta do it again because undoubtedly people are like, what is an Xbox Series S? You know, as many people as we reach every month, there's a lot of people that still don't have an idea. And again, it is their entry model Xbox that is faster all around. System balance far outclasses the Xbox One X you might have today. It definitely crushes the Xbox One S you might have today. But, you know, far more of you own the One S than the One X. This is the replacement. And while the specs will say around 4 teraflop Navi architecture here, this is RDNA 2, just like the Xbox Series X. It is much more efficient per teraflop when it comes to gaming than any previous console generation. Meaning 4 teraflops on Navi on RDNA 2 is more like 6 plus on current generation technology like the Xbox One X. So it's actually more powerful or at least just as powerful <coughs> as the Xbox. I ain't gonna lie. Xbox, y'all doing too much, man. Xbox One S, Xbox X, Xbox S, Xbox Y, Xbox C. Come on, man. Pick up numbers here. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation, PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 4 Slim. Now, PlayStation 5. Why are you making it so difficult? Golly. X, Y, man. All I hear is a bunch of letters right now. And it, it, it just coming in one years ago, I promise you. Box One X on the GPU I'm trying side to be where pixels biased. and most of your effects come from, but it has a higher memory bandwidth. It also has a whole virtual memory setup through the Velocity architecture, which it will share. It also has an SSD drive to enable those lightning fast flows, just like the Xbox Series X. And most importantly, it does have that quantum leap of a CPU. Yes, eight is in two cores, 16 threads, and uh, I'm hearing that it's uh, pretty much just as fast as the Xbox Series. CPU and remember a faster CPU allows that GPU to run games at higher frame rates at 1080p. This is a must 1080p come on bro 4k 1080p console for what is an extremely good value. So yes it is better than the Xbox One X. I get really tired of hearing people say it's not. There is a point just like your Xbox One S today those are by far the bulk sellers to get those consoles out there so people can buy what really makes them the money, the games. It does not have a disk drive. Those of you who are wondering why there is a speaker on the side of the box, well, that's a, that's a fan grill, obviously, right? I don't know why it's not the same color as the box. I would definitely prefer to have that the same color, but at the end of the day, it's not. So it looks a little bit silly at a glance, and then you realize, oh, you lay this thing down like an Xbox One S. You can stand it up, which is why I think they've shown it off this way, but it is a smaller system than the Xbox One S. It's about as tall as an Xbox Series X, a little bit shorter, and about as deep as an Xbox Series X. So it's smaller than the One S, it's substantially more powerful, and it has a speaker on the side of it. No, that's a fan cover. Again, $299. I think it's a great value for what this thing's capable of. Uh, many people still have a lower resolution display. Play. And 1080p can still look pretty good, especially uh, given the price point here. $299, again, as we've always talked about on this channel, it's going to be popular. And on sale, you know, hey, the sky's the limit. So, again, I hear this will probably be revealed uh, very soon, probably today or tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, especially now that this marketing material has leaked. Finally, at least someone released something to do with some information on these boxes, even if it wasn't Microsoft. Whoever it was, thank you for forcing Microsoft's hand, because yeah. surely they are just going to go ahead and start getting on the information ball now. And who knows, maybe they had planned on revealing this thing and talking about it uh, anyway sooner than later. So, again, I want to know what you guys think about this low-end model See? of the Xbox Series oh, X shit. called the Xbox Series X. See, that's the problem. We don't have them problems at, at, at Sony. We got little leaks, but we give you what we... Like, listen, a lot of people are so wrong with FPS 5. Nah, bro, you're wrong. As a fraction of the cost for a fraction of the performance, but balance is very important, and this thing has a ton of it. So, not a ton of editing today. I uh, just want to get this information out to you. It's really late. I uh, just stumbled upon this. I uh, got a ton of messages about it, and I uh, figured I would throw a video out there for you guys, uh, let you guys know before Microsoft actually officially reveal it. Again, let me know your thoughts down below. Hit the like button, maybe retweet it, share it with somebody, subscribe for all of the latest and great. 
greatest, and this will be a, one of the main topics on RDX Podcast. I've been talking about this stuff for quite a while, and uh, it's good that it is finally coming out, and it uh, kind of blows my mind that people just thought that I was just making stuff up, talking about multiple different SKUs of the same architecture, same APU, but different levels of GPU power. Uh, you know, hey, now you see it for yourself. You'll see it officially very soon, and uh, you know what? I'm pretty excited for it, just because it's an interesting product, and I, I'm really excited to see what this thing will actually do. I mean, hey, I dare say this thing will have games in certain scenarios that will run over 100 frames per second. Does that sound crazy to some of you? Sure. But so do the Xbox Series S. So do the 12 teraflops. So do the ray tracing, right? So, again, uh, let me know what you think down below. I'm Dealer. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Um. It's cool. It's cool. It's something like Something like, but you know what I mean. Okay, now that I went inside with the bias, but without it being biased, I'm not gonna lie. Xbox have been dominating Sony on the power, power supply. You know, it has been on that one. I, but it's just like certain things I wish Sony would take from Xbox, all, all jokes aside, you know what I mean? Certain things I wish someone would take from Xbox. Out the, the operating system is cool. The power supply is cool. The graphic, I ain't gonna lie. The PS4 and the Xbox. I like the Xbox graphics a little better to me. You know, to me I like it better. But certain games, it plays better. You know what I mean? It, it plays better on certain games. Like for that controller, like Xbox whole control system, I just hate it. I don't know if they still using batteries. I don't know. I, I, I listen. I don't know if they still using batteries. Last time I checked, they should tell you from there. I don't want to pay attention to it. Come on, man. Recharge it with us the way. Recharge it with us the way. You know. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, subscribe, come on, all that good stuff down below. As you can see, I am a tech genius. Don't, don't come here thinking you get some tech, tech shit from me, you know. Sorry, pardon my language. No tech stuff from me, you know. It, 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 that ain't me. You feel me? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, subscribe, come on, comment down below. Whatever you want to see me react to, let me know. I'll try to best react to as soon as possible. With that being said, until we meet again, remember, the world is yours. Peace.